Hey everyone, thanks for clicking this video. I've been having such a good week this week and it kind of got me thinking. Maybe there's some of you out there who aren't doing so good right now. I have said in the past that I'm still going to work. I still feel like with all this stuff going on in the world, I'm still living quite a normal life compared to what life was po or pre-virus. I know a lot of people are struggling and I really want to try to help people with that because it's very easy to fall into a funk and be really sad and miss your friends, miss your family, miss just having that freedom and independence. So I've been trying really hard to take care of myself this past week more than ever and I was just thinking that maybe I should share a little bit, give you some ideas that maybe aren't typical but they really help. I hate to see people struggling. I have a really big heart. I just want to help people and I hope that that's exactly what this does. So here's some of the things that I've been doing or I kind of just thought that people would be interested in or would kind of take that stress level way down. So this first example that I have scares a lot of people away, myself included. I've been trying to work on it, actually sitting down, putting the effort into doing it and that's to make lists and I don't mean lists to keep you organized or anything like that but just for the future we have so much time to just sit back and visualize life's kind of on pause right now so it's only natural for us to think about oh I can't wait until I can do this again and I can't wait until that so just make a bunch of lists for your future you know where you want to travel what you want your future house to look like how you would decorate your yard the kind of person you want as a partner the kind of pets you would get you know your goals your aspirations how you're going to get there or if you're really feeling brave make Make a list of things that you love about yourself and like think hard about them you know and appreciate them think like what makes you you and love that about yourself or if you're even more brave make a list of things that people have said that they aren't too fond over about you and really just think deeply about was that their own insecurities or was that something that you need to work on and you can either try to work on it or accept that about yourself because I've been trying to do that and think really about your side and their side and how they they mixed what kind of circumstances they were and it really helps your confidence because it helps you just accept that you are the way you are and there are some things you need to change and it's just you trying to be a better person it's not hating on yourself it's not that you're flawed it's just we all need to grow right especially if you're young you have quite a ways to go and it's okay how we're all we all have our insecurities and our issues it's nothing to be ashamed about but if you want to work on it all the power to you and then this one is a little lighter <laughs> about future planning and that's outfits i love doing that i love just looking at photos and being like oh i would love to wear that she looks so good i wonder what it would look like on me and just planning on you know what kind of shoes you would want just kind of what's missing in your wardrobe and speaking of your wardrobe change it up if you want and I, you can go through it and organize throw out the things that you're tired of or you can change them up and what I mean by that is you can start hemming things right and sewing a little bit what I've done is taken my some shirts and trim the bottom of them and then the material left over I've just started using them as little headbands or I bought this pair of these pair of pants that were way too big on me so what I did was I cut two holes in the waistband put a string all through it and then just tied it up took the little loose part at the front that looked a little weird tucked it in and I actually wore that out in public and I felt fine I felt pretty confident in the outfit I, I felt really cute so you can try that. You can you you know you can make crop tops. You can hem your pants. You can cut up your socks. Do something with that. You can do anything you want. Really, they're your clothes. And you know why you've got some outfits going on. Maybe try out some crazy makeup. I I really enjoy doing that. Just finding vibrant, really weird makeup styles that I would I would never wear out in public. And just seeing if I have the ability to do it. I just find that so fun especially like even if it doesn't turn out okay you tried and it was fun I just find it fun while we're on this path of beauty maybe paint your nails or do your hair up and 
maybe have a photo shoot. I'm really guilty of that. I love just getting all fancied up and then doing my own photo shoot, just feeling like a model. Maybe that's lame, but it passes the time. You know, just try to take artsy photos that maybe you found online, try to recreate them or come up with your own ideas just from materials that you have at your house. It's really fun to do that, you know, just just makes you feel pretty and good about yourself and you know, just confident like, hell yeah, I look really good in that picture, that was good lighting. Another, another version of self-care is to feel good or look good and feel good. Okay, this next one is so simple, but it's amazing the benefits that it'll have for your mood. I'm sure everybody has this in their house and that's a candle. Find a scent that you really like it because it's so nice to just shut off the lights and have that nice soothing flame. Fire is so mesmerizing, it just takes you away. Like if I'm at a campfire, I just stare at that fire. I can't even pay attention to what's going on around me and my mind completely shuts off. It's almost like a form of meditation. It's amazing. I like to put a candle on my dresser, light it, and just sit on my bed and relax and like I said, have that really soft, soothing light. So you can do it in your bedroom or maybe in your bathroom, which brings me to my next thing, which is take a bath. Maybe a bubble bath in particular because, you know, nostalgia, you just, you can have so many bubbles and just play with them. Maybe make yourself a nice little beard, something, something lame, something silly, but it really just takes away your stress because you're just having fun with yourself. You just forget about all the, all the worries in the world and just focus on what you're doing right now and bubbles are fun. If you don't, if you don't like bubble baths, you're, you're lying, you're lying. And after a bath, it is it's really nice to give yourself a massage with lotion because not only are you nice and clean, but now you just have that extra really nice scent coming off of you and it just makes your skin so smooth and you, it just makes you feel really good. My granny would always do that. She would give me a bath when I was younger and then put lotion on me. So I've kind of just developed a habit of that and it's just really good to take some time to massage your muscles, kind of loosen them up because you, you can get really tense sometimes especially if you're stressed out so it's really good to take the time to do that and take care of not just the outside or your soul but you know your actual joints and muscles and then maybe while the ball is rolling for cleanliness you can have a spa day do a facial I don't really do facials but Lord knows I need one my skin is very dry and flaky and it's just not pretty and again we have so much time so you may as well do a facial right not only do we have a lot of time but it'll just make your skin look a lot cleaner and smoother and you can probably just we're not supposed to touch our faces I guess but in theory you could just feel your face and just oh uh, it'll feel really good now this one maybe a lot of people need this one actually and that's just to get out of your house and go drive somewhere that brings you peace of mind it could be a river a forest a pond maybe the middle of the city if you're into that and you know just get off your phone for a little bit and just be in the present moment not worry about anything again kind of almost like meditation but just really connecting with your surroundings and clearing your mind. I like to practice that. It feels really nice to just sit outside in the sunshine, absorb it and you know, take it back to the days before we didn't have technology and all that and just really be with yourself and, and learn to be okay with that and not have all these distractions around you constantly. Okay, now this wouldn't be my video if I didn't mention this, but bake something. Try out new recipes any kind of recipe you want you could bake something you could cook something make up a cocktail if you want if you're in, into drinking or you can make a virgin cocktail just throw a couple ingredients together and see what happens right what's the worst that could happen just don't burn down your house maybe cook for somebody else cook somebody's favorite meal sometimes we get too caught up in our own and it feels really good to just do something special for somebody else. I love baking for other people. I, half the time I don't even eat my own stuff. I just like making other people happy with, with what I make and just let them know that I was thinking about them. That's just such a heartwarming feeling for me that I enjoy, so maybe that would help you too. It just makes you feel like a, not a, maybe not a better person, but that you're doing something good. Try gardening maybe, plant some flowers or lay out some soil and plant your own vegetation. We do both here. My grandpa has a huge garden, it's the most amazing garden I've ever seen. 
and it's really fun to garden. Even weeding, I don't mind weeding. It is time consuming, but we got a lot of that. And then it'll just make your yard look really pretty, right? It's something to do. Take pride in having really nice flowers in your front yard and make your house look presentable. And maybe that's something you can do with your family. Bonding time, again, kind of gets you outside out of your house. Another nice thing to do is do something nostalgic, like find really old music. And I'm talking early 2000s, like Selena Gomez, early 2000s those songs are just randomly popping into my head or like the most random song hey by mitchell musso came into my head and i was just like okay but then you listen to them and it just brings you back to childhood and it's awesome no matter how trendy the song was back then or if it's been forgotten now it just it doesn't it doesn't even matter you know just have fun if you enjoy that song just jam out to it or find a really old movie to watch. Anything that just brings you nostalgia and makes you happy, brings you back to before times were so complicated. And while you're listening to music, why not turn off the lights, find some strobe lights, you know how at Christmas, there's those those lights that just project onto the house instead of hanging them up, because they're kind of a pain to do that every year. Maybe find some of those and hook them up in your room and you know, create like a little dance party or club situation if you're into clubbing and you miss that just burn off some steam like just dance your heart out it feels so nice to just like when you're cooped up inside it feels so good to just release all the energy that's pent up because you can't really do anything it just feels good to dance it's a form of exercise but you know when you're like feeling the beat oh it just it's good it's a good stress reliever okay this is something i have been wanting to do for <laughs> probably like three years, but I just never got around to it. And that's rearrange and maybe even paint your room. I said in one of my previous videos already that I've rearranged my room and it's fun. I just really like rearranging it. I probably do that once every few months. It's just nice to have change, especially again with everything going on. It's just kind of, it's just fresh and makes you feel good. It makes you feel less crazy in a, in a sense I don't know if that's just me but maybe try that out and then painting your room same thing I had the weirdest colored walls I had this thing when I was younger where I really liked hot pink aqua lime green and yellow so I wanted each of my walls those colors but the thing is none of my walls were the color that I wanted if, if that makes sense it wasn't a blue aqua it was just some weird blue shade and it wasn't hot pink it was really dark pink so I was just like you know what enough of this I'm 20 I don't I don't need these multicolored walls anymore so I finally painted my room and it just made me feel it made me feel normal my, my room doesn't feel like it's meant for seven year old anymore it just felt so nice and it was like a step forward in life I don't know if that sounds really crazy but that's just I find joy in really Really little things sometimes all right and this last thing would this be quarantine if you didn't do something to your hair I don't think so you guys probably noticed that at the beginning of this video I had roots now I don't whoa crazy stuff I dyed my hair <laughs> I was going to wait until I recorded this video but I've just been really busy these days life happens guys you don't always have the time to do the things that you want in the order you want I took the opportunity to dye my hair. I don't care if it looks a little silly, but my outro, I'm also going to have roots. Stuff happens. It's not a big deal. A lot of people have been, I don't know, either buzz cutting their hair, dyeing it, cutting their bangs. Everyone's been doing something to their hair and it's fun. And if it goes wrong, who's gonna see you, right? There's nothing to lose. It's exciting to change up yourself. And again, like maybe you would, you find that you really like your haircut. Like what if it doesn't go wrong and you love what you did? This was the first time I've ever dyed my hair by myself and I love the way it turned out. So look at that. It's made me so much happier. I love being blonde so much more than being a brunette, despite that everyone was like, don't do it, don't do it. But I love it. I feel better inside and that's what's really important. That's the whole point of this video is do things that make you happy despite what other people say. Just don't even consider other people. Do 
what makes you happy do something for yourself even the littlest things I do weird things all the time I don't even want to get into it but they make me happy right so who cares you don't have to share with anybody it can be your little secret just do something something to take your mind off of this pandemic this crazy life that we're living right now you got to put yourself first sometimes all right that's about it for me so above and beyond all guys take care of yourself self-love and self-care is so important i can't stress it enough we're the hardest on ourselves and we really just need to take a step back sometimes and really figure out how to be happy just the little things you can do to make your day a lot better. Bring your mood up, like I said, bring that stress level way down. Through all of this, there is no better time to start working on yourself, loving yourself, taking care of yourself. So thank you for watching and I really hope that you found something useful in this video. You can apply it to your life and it can bring your mood up a little bit. I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up on this video to support me and if you wanna share some love down below, I'd be ecstatic. Take care everybody.